Welcome back. Today, let's dive into the art of logging in NiFi. Imagine tracking events like success or failure, or creating custom log messages tailored to your process. You can even log all attribute values in real time as your pipeline runs. These logs become your go-to tool for analyzing performance or troubleshooting any hiccups down the line. To achieve this, NiFi offers two inbuilt processors, the Log Message Processor and the Log Attribute Processor. The Log Message Processor is used to log custom messages, while the Log Attribute Processor logs all attributes of a flow file along with their values into a log file. Both processors record their information in the NiFi app.log file, which can be found in the configuration folder within the NiFi installation directory. Let's head to our NiFi canvas and explore how to utilize these two processors in practice. Start by creating a process group and name it NiFi Logging. Once done, click Add to finalize the group. Next, step inside the newly created process group. Here, we'll set up a simple pipeline to demonstrate the functionality of the log attribute and log message processors, focusing on how they can be effectively integrated into a pipeline. This basic setup will help you grasp their usage and purpose with clarity. Click on the Processors option and drag it onto the canvas. Select the Generate Flow File Processor from the list. This processor will generate flow files that we can use to test the logging functionality. Next, click on the processor again, drag it onto the canvas, and this time select the Log Attribute Processor. The Log Attribute Processor will capture and log all attribute values of the generated flow files. Finally, connect these two processors using the success relationship. Now we will add a log message processor here. Link the log attribute processor to the log message processor using the success relationship. Since we don't need to perform any further actions after the log message processor, we will auto terminate its success relationship. The log attribute processor will log all the attributes of the flow file created by the generate flow file processor. In the log message processor, you can pass your custom message for logging. Right-click on the processor and select Configure. Next, click on Properties. Here, you can define and customize your log message to suit your needs. You can enter your desired message here, then click OK and Apply. In the Generate Flow File processor, Let's add an attribute. Right-click on the Generate Flow File Processor and select Configure. Click on the plus sign. Then, create an attribute such as My Attribute. Assign a random value such as Test. Then, click OK and Apply. Configure the Generate Flow File Processor. To prevent overloading the system, let's adjust the run schedule for the processor. Set the run schedule to 30 seconds. Next, select Execute on Primary Node. Now we're ready to run the pipeline. Right-click on Generate Flow File and select Run Once. You'll notice that a flow file has been generated. Next, let's start the log attribute and log message processors. To view the logs, we need to open the NiFi app.log file, which is located in the logs folder of the NiFi installation directory. This is the logs folder. Click on NiFi app.log. Scroll to the bottom of the log file. Here you'll find the message we logged. 
These are the attributes logged by the log attribute processor. Here, we can see the attribute that we added in the generate flow file processor. There are also other attributes of the flow file, such as your ID, file name, etc. After these, we can find our log message. However, as observed, it's a bit challenging to identify where exactly our log message is located in the log file. So what can we do? First, we need to stop the processors on the canvas. Then click on configure for the log attribute processor. Here, add a prefix to make the logs easier to identify. For example, we can add a prefix like this. This way, we can clearly see our logged attributes. Click OK and then click Apply. Similarly, for the log message processor, click Configure. Add a log prefix here, for example, custom message. Click OK and then click Apply. Now let's run our pipeline again. Click Run once here and then run the log attribute processor. Run the log message processor. Then go back to the log file. Scroll to the bottom of the log file. Since we added a log prefix, we can now search the log file using that prefix to easily locate our logs. Yes, this is our attribute, and here is our log message. With the prefix in place, we can easily identify where our log message is located within the log file. However, the problem with this type of logging is that you need to have access to NiFi app.log file to see your log messages. In a production environment, you may not always have access to this log file. Therefore, in a real-world production pipeline, it's crucial to store your logs in a database or send them to an external application like Splunk, where you can collect and analyze your log data. In the next video, we will show you how to log messages to Splunk. Thank you for watching, and see you in our next lecture. Thank you for watching this crash course on Apache NiFi logging. You can click the link in the description to explore our popular Udemy course on Apache NiFi. We also offer many courses on cloud, data, AI, and generative AI. Additionally, you'll find plenty of content on our YouTube channel on the same topics. Subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated.